Hello guys, I'm Spicy Bill, and now I'm gonna be building the uh, the body for the uh, Bandai Gunpla Real Grade 144 scale Gundam Exia. Okay, so anyway, let's get this party started. Let's go ahead and assemble this piece right here. This is the premium Bandai um, Real Grade 144 scale Gundam Exia Repair 3. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, um, before we start, let me uh, just tell you guys one thing. I have to build the uh, head off camera because I, you know, I, I kind of forgot how how terrible this thing is. It's not a bad kit. It's just the headpiece can get very very frustrating. There are these parts, uh, these clear parts that goes goes around the uh, headpiece right there. Those are very annoying to get in. And there's just a lot of tiny parts like these uh, yellow pieces right there. Um, yeah, um, I had to build this kid like you know in the bathroom so I don't uh, end up like disturbing my wife. <laughs> Cause uh, yeah, th this thing can uh, get people really really angry. Trust me, like th this could be like. Oh, I'm I'm just telling you. This is like uh, I think building real great Exia is one of the reason why I stopped doing commissions for people. <laughs> oh, okay. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and finish the build. Yeah, it, it's it's very annoying. <clears throat> All right, and also these parts here are also very annoying. These uh, clear parts. It's just exactly the same as the one that goes on the headpiece. Uh, it's very annoying to get them in place and also very annoying to uh, get them to fold properly so these things need to be folded properly before you attach the uh, another set of armor so it's super annoying okay that's uh, my wife is sleeping now let's hope I don't wake her up and get kicked out of the house <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and do this. All right, got that in there. Let's go ahead and move this up. And now we have to fold these down and uh, get this piece of armor to go around it. Okay, that wasn't too bad, actually. Okay, all right. Let's get my hobby knife. Clean up this nub. You just gotta be kind of patient. Uh, you now, patient is definitely something you need in abundance when you're building a real grade kit. If you don't have patience, don't bother trying real grades, because it's just a little bit too much. <laughs> Go, get that in there, and let's go ahead and start panel lining. Yeah, I wasted so much time building that headpiece, so that's one of the problem. I could have got this whole entire kit uh, completely built if I didn't have to deal with the shenanigans on that headpiece right there. <laughs> Lots of uh, fitting, refitting, trying to get the parts to fit. Yeah, it's just super annoying. Okay, so now that that part is done, let's go ahead and build this, put this piece right there. Everything else is pretty simple. It's uh, pretty much smooth sailing from this point on. Okay, all right, and uh, let's go ahead and put this back piece on. Lower 
these arms. There we go. Let's go ahead and pound the line. This upper section right there. Yeah, this is a good kit overall. Just unfortunately, the headpiece is very, very annoying. It's exceptional. Um, I I have to say it's actually more annoying than the Astrea Amatsumina. Just because of those like you know clear foil parts, those things are terrible. I wish uh, Bandai would have given us like hard plastic parts so you can just stick it on there. But unfortunately, uh, they make us have to deal with those like uh, parts that you have to fold and stuff like that, which just really really makes it difficult. Okay, let's see what else am I missing? Let's put some little details in here. Bring out the detail like that. Okay, there we go. Um, now we're gonna take the top piece, stick it. Oops, that was upside down. Stick it right here like that. That's pretty good. We can take the clear dome piece, stick it in here like that. Okay, now we gotta build this uh, back section here. This is where the clips uh, clip onto the uh, condenser. Oh boy. And I need to uh, clean up the nub. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> okay, so that clips on right here. Let's go ahead and panel like that. Uh, this one does not have the nub. Okay, I cleaned up this thing already. Let's go and panel like this. And uh, we have this piece that goes right here. Right here like that. Let's go ahead and panel like this section down here. And let's go ahead and touch this right here, like that. You know, I just realized I made another mistake. This is uh, this is actually a very significant mistake, <laughs> but we'll get to it when we get to it. <laughs> okay, so we have this piece that goes right here. This is actually the cockpit. This goes right here, like that. There we go. Oh boy, this is a this is a big mistake that I made. Oh yeah. Okay, and then uh, this piece goes right here, like that. There we go, and uh, the blue piece goes right here, like that. Let's go and panel like this. So now I have to take apart the uh, waist section. That's the uh, mistake that I made. Why? Because you will see it very soon. <laughs> uh, this thing's supposed to connect into the hips. But I build the hips without putting that thing on. It's not like a high grade where you can build the hips and then you can connect the two pieces together. You have to build the whole torso. Damn it. That's going to suck. Alright, so now we have this piece that goes right here. Like that. And then we have this piece. It goes right here like that. There we go. Let's go ahead and pound the line.
Okay. All right. Um, yeah, this this is gonna be a bit of a problem. Okay, so this piece is gonna go right here, like this. And then this piece is gonna go right here, like this. Just be careful, don't break that peg right there. All right, and then now uh, we have this piece. We'll send right here. Okay, that's not too bad. We're gonna get to that part very soon where <laughs> I don't know. I I think I need to uh, take apart the uh, crotch section. All right, this piece goes right here. You can see uh, this two different shades of blue, which is very nice. There we go. And then I'll uh, go ahead and pop this on here like that. Oh, forgot this piece goes on the back, like right there. And uh, this piece right there, this is the neck color. You would have think that I, uh, I learned my mistake from the Zagok. <laughs> But I forgot about it. That sucks. Okay. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Uh, let's see. We can take apart the front skirt. Yeah. And then we can take apart the back skirt. Like the parts I clips on, like uh, you don't have to remove those, so it's not terrible. Okay, so we can now we can split this. I think we can split this in half. <coughs> First, I am going to remove the legs. Let's go ahead and remove this. <coughs> okay, um, let's see. It really shouldn't interfere with anything. It's just, this is just two pieces that snap together. Ah, there we go. That's not freaking terrible. Let's put this in here like that. Then put everything back together. <laughs> there we go. That wasn't bad. I thought it was going to be like a nightmare. Rotate that. <laughs> okay. I actually put it uh, backwards, but it doesn't matter because it's just a simple rotation. Okay, so anyway, this one goes in the front. That. And then this piece uh, goes on the back. You know this is this is not bad. I'm like I I don't hate building this kit, and I'm not like super annoyed by it. <laughs> so, yeah. Like, you know, stuff like this is one of the reasons why I don't like building real grades, because sometimes uh, they're just too much of a chore. You know, like you know when you want to build a model kit, you want to have some fun building it, not like getting frustrated. Uh, the unicorn was, you know, honestly not so fun. <laughs> yeah, the Sazabi was fun though. I, I really like building the Sazabi. That was fantastic. 
but a unicorn, not so much. In fact, I had to take a break when building the unicorn. So, I don't remember if it has something similar to Exia's uh, head gimmick. Uh, the way the head is put together, I don't think it's that bad. But uh, there's, there was just something about the unicorn that made me have to stop building it. And like, relax for like a couple hours before I went back to uh, building it. I don't remember what it was. Okay, so this is the body is pretty much done. Let's make sure this snaps in there like that, and then this cover goes on here. There we go. There we go. That's not terrible. Okay, we are almost done building the body. I think the uh, next I'm gonna build the accessories, then I'm gonna build the arm. All right, so the head goes on here like that. Move this up a little bit. All right, let's go ahead and uh, panel line the condenser unit. see uh, what do I have to do here um, I think this goes in like that go ahead and detail this up just a little bit this thing goes behind the uh, uh, goes into this section so you don't really see it at all but still okay so what do I do here? Thing goes in like that. There we go. Uh, this goes right there. This clips in. Right there. That's sweet. Okay, so next I'll be uh, uh, building the uh, accessories, the weapons, and then I'll build the arms. So stay tuned for that video. Thanks for watching.